All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we're going to be live. And I'm going to be in a very emotional state, is how I'm going to put it this way. Because my worst nightmare just occurred. Real Madrid and Barcelona. Real Madrid advanced and Barcelona didn't advance. But, you know, it is what it is. I just have to accept it. I have to move on. Life is life. And maybe it's a good thing that Manchester City is not in the Champions League because I don't really like Manchester City. Like, just keep it a stack with you guys. I don't really like. But maybe it is a good thing because now it's going to make the Champions League more interesting. So I, if I look from that perspective, I could look. But, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to get, get started, guys. So please uh, join if you haven't already done so. Let me go ahead and turn the lights on um, and get the timestamps in. And timestamps. So, get everything smooth sailing. Uh, and, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and start first with the... Uh, we're going to start first with the uh, Dortmund game. Actually, you know what? Let's just get the, let's just get on with it. Let, let's start with the Barca game first. Just, just get the pain out of the way done. I'd rather just get this game out of the way done. So, let me actually share my screen. So, give me guys a few seconds to actually get that up for you guys. Um, give me a few seconds. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Barcelona one, PSG four. Uh, where do I even go begin with this game? Uh, my thing for Barca is that, um, this was a, this was a tough, this was tough. And it makes me really frustrated knowing that this was a great opportunity for Barca to have made the Champions League final. And we blew it. We blew it. But let's look at the starting 11 for both teams. I think Xavi probably started the best 11 um, that was possible. Uh, maybe the only thing I could maybe argue, maybe he shouldn't. I mean, that was probably the best 11. And for PSG, that was probably the best 11 they started. And for me, Barca got, uh, uh, PSG started from the, good, from the fir first foot. They started to dominate Barcelona. We were starting to struggle against them. Right? And it was only because of Yamal goal we were able to um, uh, sc score. We were able to score that um, Yamal did an individual piece of brilliance to um, um, give it to Rafinha, and Rafinha makes it one nil. I think it's okay, but Barcelona takes a lead there. But then we know what happened, and I think um, for me it was definitely a red card. It was definitely a red card from Araujo. It was reckless, unnecessary, stupid red card. And it was such an unnecessary red card. Okay. And Araujo gets taken down. And I'm uh, sorry, Araujo takes down Barcola. And you have to give credit to PSG here because Luis Enrique actually uh, was smart with his tactics. He actually, um, you know, high press Barcelona. And that's one of been Barcelona's biggest issues that we're not really good against teams that play high press, you know? And Araujo for me is it just does a terrible challenge. And I'm going to say this right now this might be a controversial take. And a lot of people may not agree with this, especially the Barca fans, but I'm going to say this right now. Arau is still a good defender, but he is he might be bad at big games. Because I'm sorry, in big games, he's been terrible. Juventus at the cap now, he was terrible. Real Madrid earlier this season, Spanish Super Cup, he was bad. He's been terrible. Uh, he's been terrible in these kind of uh the these kind of big games. And like I just think that for me, man, um, it, it's terrible, man. It's it's absolutely terrible. Oh, thank you for clearing that up, Pookie, as you're a moderator. So, yeah, mods, man, do your job, man, do your job. But yeah, like it, it was ridiculous, man, ridiculous. You know. And then uh, credit to uh, Barcola. Barcola gives a pass to Dembele, makes it one one, and Dembele does a celebration, and uh, it's just it's just painful for Barca because my thing is that I never really agreed what what we did to Dembele, making all those chants, all those. Um, uh, you know, because there was a lot of uh, noise before Dembele. We gave Dembele a very tre harsh treatment. It was almost like Luis Vigo. And, uh, you know when Luis Vigo came to, uh, you know what the whole Luis Vigo scandal? We gave Dembele the same treatment. And guess what happened? Dembele scored. Salas is the crowd. Uh, guys, this is only his third goal for PSG. And he scored two of his goals against PSG. Two of his goals for PSG against Barcelona. Like, how much more crazier can that be? That is an insane narrative. Insane narrative. Uh, insane narrative because, like, it, it, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. 
I said an um I said in a Twitter space that Dembele, uh, I said that we were gonna lose this game. And that the only way we could get back in this game is if we scored from a set piece, you know, and which we didn't, you know, and the second half, you know, can uh Vitinho scores a fantastic goal. I thought Vitinho was amazing. I thought Vitinho was amazing in today's game. Uh sorry, not today, yesterday's game. He was fantastic. I thought he was amazing. Um, uh, he scored a very nice goal there. And and yeah, I just think um um, it was crazy, man. It was crazy. Um, he scored a uh, uh, Vintino scored a nice goal there. Uh, then obviously the third goal, stupid foul from Kinsella on Dembele, stupid foul. And then obviously the fourth goal was scored by Mbappe in the final minutes of the game. Great, great ball of the top there uh, to Mbappe at the end to finish it off. And yeah, for Barcelona, man, maybe you could criticize Xavi for taking Yamal off when we went down to ten men. But my thing is that. Even if you don't like the thing is like even it doesn't matter who you take off like I still feel like it was just gonna it was just not gonna work out and yeah for Barca man it's just it's just bad man it's just terrible and I don't know what to say man I I don't know what to say here and that we really messed up man really messed up and you have to give credit to PSG because obviously a lot of people are gonna say that oh PSG won this game because of the red card thing and but you have to give him credit Luis Enrique did a really good job with his tactics. He exposed Barcelona's ta uh, transition. He exposed Barcelona's transition. And we know this team and transition is terrible. And he exposed it. He exposed it and it paid dividends, man. It paid dividends. And Barcelona really struggled in that sense. But at the same time, at the same time, though, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's bad, man. It's bad. Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna report. I'm just, I'm gonna report Lightning McQueen in. Uh, you're, you're gonna you're putting. Uh, I'm putting you hide. I'm gonna hide the user. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, I just think that for me personally, for Barcelona, man, we we messed up here. The red card completely changed the game, and it's it's unfortunate because I think that red card because who knows? We could have had a very good game. We could have had a very good game. Red card wasn't given because I know a lot of people are saying that OPSG oh, probably wins this. Uh, it, it like. Barcelona may have won this game, and we may have still won it, but the issue is that we don't know for certain. We don't know for certain, man, and that's the thing, is that we don't know for certain. And yeah, Barcola, for me, had a very good game. I thought he was amazing. Dembele was great. Let's be real, Mbappe wasn't really that great throughout the game. He just wasn't. Uh, Vitinha was amazing. I thought Marquinhos was great as well. Hakimi as well got the assist. Uh, which goal did he get the assist for, actually? Was it the Hakimi? Was it the Barcola goal? No, I think it was the Vitinha goal. I think the Vitinha goal. Yeah, he got the assist for. And yeah, for Barcelona, man, once again, man, it just feels like whenever whenever decisions go against Barcelona, this team just has to. It, it, this team just can't handle it. Like the when the when there's when when the decision goes against us, the fans, the management uh, starts crying and makes an excuses and excuses and excuses. Like no man up, man up. Like I just like the decisions that were made yesterday were fair. It wasn't like any decision that wasn't not fair, right? So Barcelona, man, we got to stop this whiny mentality. I'm sorry. I have to call it Xavi. Xavi Hernandez, why are you throwing a tantrum? I'm sorry. Th this is ridiculous. You were throwing a tantrum there. And it, it, it's just not a good look, man. I, I, it's just not a good look, man. It's just not a good look for you as a manager of this uh, class. And apparently, a crazy stat out there, guys. He's got more red cards as a manager than as a player. And it just shows how emotional he is. He emotional he is. And once again, man. When the going gets tough for Barcelona, we just seemingly crumble. We crumble, crumble, crumble every single time. We haven't had a graceful Champions League exit since probably 2016. That's probably the last time we had a graceful exit in the Champions League. Every season afterwards, it's been embarrassment and embarrassment and embarrassment and embarrassment. And you can't really fault Xavi. I, I, I can't really criticize Xavi for today. He's like, as much as I criticize him for his tantrum and maybe the Yamal thing, the team just was not good. Like, the team just, 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 just gave up, you know? And I look at that Lewandowski chance. Oh, my God. That Lewandowski, man. Lewandowski was... That was just terrible, man. That that miss, man. That miss was terrible. And, yeah. I, I think for um, uh, Lewandowski, man, he should have passed it Ferran Torres. And then, obviously, Gundogan had a very good chance. Um, Gundogan had a great chance there just to, um, to get the goal back after uh, Mbappe scored the penalty, I think. And yeah, for Barca, man, maybe we could have gone a bit more defensive. Maybe we could have done that. Maybe we should not have left ourselves in transition. But the thing is, like, 
I think the thing is, like, when you go down 10 men, you're just it's just really difficult. You have to be very smart. And you can win it with 10 men. We have seen it before throughout the season. Liverpool won with 10 men. I think, um, what is it called? Australia. Sorry, Italy won with 10 men against Australia in the World Cup. Like, there's been occasions where teams can win down to 10 men. It's just that you have to be more economically efficient. You have to be more intelligent with the ball. You have to be very smart. You have to play very compact. You have to be very, you have to be very well organized to do it. And so I think for Barcelona, man, we needed to have that kind of urgency, kind of that kind of thing, you know? And so we just didn't have it, man. This team just doesn't have it. And once again, man, I'm going to continue to reiterate this again. If Barcelona wants to win the Champions League, this team needs a, this team needs sports psychologist. This team needs sports therapist if we want to win the Champions League. Because I don't know how many times this keeps happening. I'm tired of this embarrassment again and again every season. Because you can't keep changing the players and expect anything to differ. You know, and I know people are saying, oh, we got to take out the senior players. And yeah, that probably is true. Take out the senior players. But the thing is, like, even with the younger players, the mentality of this team is just terrible. You know, this team needs a this team needs revamp. Some of the senior players have to go. I'm sorry. Frankie De Young was terrible. Um, Araujo wasn't great. Ter Stegen wasn't great. And some of the veteran players have to go. Like Lewandowski, you might have to go. You might have to go, man. But yeah, man, for Barca, man, I, I, I'm just in disbelief, man. It's just sad. Um, and I, 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 I'm just, um, I'm just devastated, man. So, yeah, I, like I said, man, congratulations to PSG, man. They deserve it. And for Barcelona, man, we have to fix up. We have to fix up if we really want to be taken seriously in the championship. Because I'm sorry, guys. Historically, you may be a big club, but in current terms, we're not a big club. We're not a we're not a big club. We're not a big club in the current terms. But yeah. Anyways, let me just go ahead quick and read some of your guys' comments. Um, and yeah. Uh, a lot of comments to go through, by the way, guys. Uh PSG Madrid finals destiny and Bobby winner. Uh Sebastian, can you explain me why you support PSG? Who said I'm supporting that clubs? Maybe I just like them again. Who likes PSG? We're sitting deep and winning. Uh club that becomes big with the money, Qatar Sheiks, a lot of people. So Mancy's not oil. Said he needs to bring in a striker. You can't hide it anymore. Okay, well, I'll save this com- um actually you know what? I'll just read those comments because I don't know if I'm going back. So I'll just I'll just like click on the comments, but I won't read. Um all right. All right. Um the first leg is in um is in the burnabout actually. Um okay. Carve out of China, stream's gonna be six out of ten. HR, you don't have to mention it's gonna happen. Um Okay, 80. Okay, Lucha gonna cook baby. You go to Pierce. Uh, where's he too? There we go. PSG about to smoke some German pack than the Madrid pack. Uh, we'll see about that. Special every single game says hi. Zero Wilson messages are better than that. Yeah, Dinga says hello. C deserves a Farmers League trophy. <laughs> okay, I love this season game. I love this game. Box says Vitinha over KDB is not even close. Uh, I don't know about that. Vitinha was good though. He was good, and I think a lot of people need to give credit to him. Vitinha showed up, man. Man, they didn't take long shots when they could. City messed up. So many wingers were dry. I too love this game. Barcelona sucks. Dembele. Barcelona couldn't have done much. Fuck him, punch. PSG versus the Real Madrid final week. Feed families. Especially me, Dembele. Because we're all finished. I love Madrid. Uh, Dembele wins the UC. I'm going to start stay, start saying that he's better than Balding. What? Dembele owns Barca. Ah, come on, little mayor. It's just two games. It's just two games. Let's not get two out of ourselves. But Dembele showed up. I'll give credit. Dembele showed up. Hi, ED. Master says... Dembele Paris over Dembele Barca probably. Barca played well, and then the red card changed the game. Kane over Holland. Did you see my joke about Dembele? No. I agree that Ryle is a big, a big, is a bad big game player. Obvious. Uh, Holland did better than he did in the first leg as a slow. You know, wait, Lightning McQueen into that stuff a little. Real Madrid versus Bayern is in the semis. I have been waiting for this since I was two years old. This is true. Okay. Let's give some credit to Barco. He had a very good game. Yeah, Barco was class. Um, they will go back to being a speed merchant. Barca don't have winning mentality. Yeah, we don't. We don't, man. We don't. We could have. Oh, we could come to Arsenal game already. Please, <laughs> we'll get to them, man. We'll get to that. Every single game, the referee had a ten out of ten game. Being honest, us Grace Bugs, it was twenty fourteen. Uh, twenty fourteen. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's tough, but but the thing, the point I'm trying to make here, every time is that we haven't had a good exit in a long time. We've been we've been embarrassed. Exit. Yeah, but maybe twenty fourteen because we did get knocked out of Atletico that year. 10 years without Barcelona in the UCL. Ronald has a 10 out. Is your IDQ being honest? Congrats to Madrid. PSG for reaching the finals. Okay. 
and Bobby definitely stole the show when he got that penalty. He gained the confidence to do the running. Um, yeah, Prime Merchants. Rocco is beginning to look like Mexico. Barca is beginning to look like Mexico. He had Mexico quarterfinals. Quinto Martito. Um, let's just call it Corson. Okay. Frankie De Young is becoming Frankie De Old. Javi definitely not staying now. Oh, dude, he was not going to stay. 80 is the only Barca fan I feel sorry for. Uh, De Young was so close to being another semifinal. Last two games, PSG and Camp now 4 1 4 1. Barca and Park de Prince 1 1 3 2. The way team does better. You know, that's actually crazy if you think about HKR. It's nice to see Bundesliga teams in the semifinals. Uh, really, uh, Godzilla says, Navatina, KDB, no cap. Who can? Me too. I feel bad for 80. What team do you support? But he's more defensive midfield than De Bruyne. Um, but yeah, I mean, like basically my overall takeaways is that Barca really messed up here. This was a great opportunity to make the Champions League final, which we haven't since 2015. This is also a great opportunity to make the semis, which we haven't done since 2019. And we gave away this opportunity. And yeah, for Barcelona, man, I, I like, th there's not much to say. Like Araujo cost us this game and some of the players, man, the, they got to do better, man. Like I understand you're down to 10 men, but may like maybe you could have like, I don't know, a bit, a bit more compact, organized. Like, we, we, we look too open, you know. And that's the thing is that when you go when you go down to 10 men, you have to be smart with the ball. You have to be very efficient. You have to be intelligent. And this Barca team just didn't have it, you know. And like I said, guys, we could have walked out of here with a draw. A draw would have been enough to advance. We didn't even need to win. But, you know, Barca crumbled and PSG did it, man. And congratulations to PSG, man. They reached the first Champions League final. Semi-finals since 2021. Uh, we know that season, man. What happened? So, yeah, man. Congratulations to a PSG, man. They did it. And for Barcelona, man, I'm just very disappointed with them. And I, I'm just in disbelief. It's going to take me some time to recover from this. But, yeah, man. Uh, so, uh, okay. I don't know what's going on with the chat. Because the chat's going a lot more crazier than usual. Usually, we don't have this amount of... Uh, we usually don't have this big of a turnout. So... That's good to see, though. It's good to see we have a lot of people here. But, um, uh, okay, I don't know what John, uh, John Con MQ, I think I'm just going to have, you know what? I think I'm just going to hide you. Um, actually, you know what? I'll put you in time. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll put in, I'll put in time. So, okay. And, yeah. So, actually, maybe I'll just remove the timeout. I'll move the remove the timeout. Is there a way I can remove the timeout? Oh, I don't think there is. <laughs> Fudge, but whatever. Okay, so let me do a quick poll, real quick, guys. Um, did the red card change? Uh, did the red card change the game? I want to know what you guys think. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I might I, I think I might need to do a slow mode. Um, uh, I think I might need to do a slow mode on this on on this uh this stream. And guys, remember guys to like and subscribe. So let's go ahead and um um um. I think it's going to be a movie AD on one day. Maybe the chat would be crazy. We'll see. Who's on time of the spam? Scam people amount is crazy. What's going on? One day maybe my chat will be crazy. We'll see. Slow mode might be the way way for you soon, dog. Yeah, I think I might have to do slow mode, guys. You know what? I, yeah, I think I, I think it's time for me to do slow mode. I'll put like it like maybe a minute so I can go through the comments because I do want to keep the stream around an hour long, obviously. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens. So. Yeah. Okay, every five seconds. I, I don't know, but not a long one. Okay, not okay. Let's do five seconds then. Let's do five seconds. Five seconds, I think, is good. I've never done slow mode, by the way. I don't think so. This will be the first time I'm doing this. So give me a few seconds, guys. I've never I let me I I I yeah, let's do five seconds. Let's do five seconds. I think five is good. So five seconds, guys. Five seconds. Okay. And Mopi might be the best player of the tournament so far. No. He should look toothless before the red. Because the thing is, guys, like, look at the first half, guys. Before that goal was scored, PSG, 
they were putting they were they were creating chances from a uh, with position but i think our defense was able to do the job so but it's 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 tricky though adam because we don't know to this day you know and people are saying oh go look at the first leg i think psg improved uh i think they they wanted to start from the very word go but yeah who knows man but the thing is like it's really lazy analysis to do but it really does feel like the red card did change as it came it really does feel like it you know so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I think we, I think we're good for now. Kabarsi was still good. Kabar against the tackle was bad. Yeah. For, let's just about quickly talk about Barca, the players that were great. I thought Yamal was good. Rafinha was good and Kabarsi. And that's probably just about it. Yes. The red card can we change the game or not? Ronald Duran needs to do better to get a red card in the part of the game. They were up two on aggregate. Even had PSG scored, you still went one up in the eleven. And that's the thing about Rajo is that he didn't need to make that challenge because we were still leading on aggregate. Because let's just say he's one-on-one -on -one with Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen might have saved it. But even if he doesn't save it, we're still leading, we're still leading uh five, four, uh, sorry, four, three on aggregate. So there is no reason to make that red card so early in the game. Okay. No, so early in the game, right? So, uh, dog ones like to make point. Okay. Enrico is putting Mbappe in the middle. So players can route him, underestimate Barco and Mbappe could be more for you. Exactly. HQR. Ex exactly. HQR. And Luis Enrico was smart. He didn't play Mbappe as a winger. He played Mbappe as a striker. So that way we could be more focused. That way Mbappe will have more freedom to roam around and, and, to do that kind of stuff, you know, and Dembele and Barcola were able to create havoc because they were creating a lot of havoc for us, man. They were creating a lot of havoc for us, and they caused a lot of problems for our defense, and our defense just couldn't handle it. So my thing is that even if we had, let's say, stayed eleven men, we may have not still we we may have won, but it wouldn't have been that convincing. If that makes any sense, like you know, um, yeah. Okay, last thing we're gonna move. Last thing we're gonna say, and then we're gonna move on to the next game because I think we spent too much time in this game. Um, Eddie, you get you get why I told you I don't like the last man rule. Yeah, see the thing is like it, it was a bit of a it, it, because like the thing is the red card was a bit soft, but it's a red, it's a red because he was the last man standing. It's it's a clear denial of a goal scoring opportunity. It's a red card. It's a red card. It doesn't matter how soft it, the soft the push is. It doesn't matter about that stuff. He committed the challenge, and it's a red card. It's a red card. It's a red card offense. It's a red card offense, and that's all that really matters. You know. But yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and um, uh, let me read some of your final comments here in regards to this game. Uh, I don't know if Yamal should have been a sub, but he did. But, but he's the best player you'll have going for. But he's only 16. His defense is already as level yet, especially when you're down to 10 men. Yeah, the thing is, like, has there's a lot of people saying that Barca should have maybe not take Yamal off. Uh, but the thing is, like, the thing is, like, when you take Yamal off, Yamal was such a, he's such a young player. You know, Yamal is such a young player. So I understood why Xavi did it. But at the same time, though, like even if you had, because the thing is, I don't think it would, I don't think anything would have changed. Even if you take another player off, I think we'd still have lost this game. So I don't know how much of a difference it is. But yeah, I understand your point, Hazus. And it would have been such a good moment for Yamal because I can guarantee you guys, the match ends, Yamal gets a standing, he gets uh, so much applause, he gets so much appreciation, so much recognition. And yeah, he would get so much appreciation, man. So much appreciation. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, okay, let's go and talk about the Dortmund game. Uh, this Dortmund game, guys. Dortmund 4, Atletico Madrid 2. <sighs> yeah, wow. Shout out to Dortmund. Shout out to Dortmund. And I have to give a triple-spaced apology to Dortmund because this is a team that I, 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 I... This is a team that many people make fun of. This is a team that many people don't have hopes on. And this is a team that continuously disappoints, historically speaking. And Dortmund's a team that have screwed up so many times to win the Bundesliga. There have been two seasons, from what I remember, after at, when Bayern's done 11 in a row, they could have won the league title. And they failed to deliver in both seasons. I think it was the 18 and 19 and last season. Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong here. At Dortmund, they did it. Matt, you got to give Terzic his credit here. And I, what I really like about this Dortmund team is that this team is a team. Because a lot of people just think that people that don't really follow football watch the games just think, oh, this team is Sancho. Sancho is the end all, be all, most important player. But no, this team has other players that can stick up. Full crook. Brandt. I think Brandt's really underrated, guys. I think Brandt is probably one of the most underrated players in the Bundesliga. Sabitzer, Emre, um, Emre Can, Schorobeck, Madison, Kobal. 
Like, this team actually has a lot more players than just Sancho. It's just that Sancho just gets so much appreciation, so much applaudance, because, you know, you know how English players are. English players just generally get a lot of recognition, you know? And you have to give credit to Jorman, because Jorman started the game brilliantly, brilliantly. And I'm sorry, guys. We have to start with this. That Murata miss in that first half was a criminal miss. The fifth minute of the game. And I'm sorry. That was a horrendous miss. And I'm sorry, man. Simeone, man. I respect you as a manager. I actually like Atletico Madrid. I kind of have a soft spot for them. Um, I don't know how many Barca fans would agree with me on this, but I'm going to say this right now. I actually kind of like Atletico Madrid. But the thing is, like, Simeone is just, I'm sorry. He was just went too defensive. He went super defensive. And I just don't like this idea. And I said this before, guys. I'm going to continue to say this again. Playing for a draw is disaster in the making. When you play for a draw, you're going to lose. Majority of the time, you're going to lose. Most of the time, when you try to play for a draw, you're going to lose. That's just how football works. Uh, but you have to give credit. You have to give credit to Atletico Madrid because they fought hard in the second half, you know, eventually got the goals. And that first goal, man, what a goal that is from Brent. Now, I don't know what Oblak was doing there because that was a terrible, terrible goalkeeping. I'm sorry. He should have done better there. And um, Dorman, you know, take the lead there. I don't know what the Atletico defense was doing. I think it was Aspilicueta. I think Aspilicueta made a horrendous oh, – was it his pass? I think he was the one that actually made the error, if I remember correctly. Uh, you know, Brand scores. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, we have a crazy start to the game. And I said this before. If Dorman scored first, we have a great second leg. Because, guys, if Atletico scored first, I can imagine right now it would have been a 1-0 win. Probably a 1-0, maybe even 1-1. One, one. You know? And then the second goal, man. Great, great goal there from Madison, man. Great, great link-up play, combination play there. Madison scores. Sabitzer there with assist. Hummels gets assist there for the brand goal. Guys, the, the first two goals, the build-up to the goals were fantastic, you know? And, and, um, and, um, it was just crazy, man. Crazy. Oh, sorry. Okay, FB7 games. It might have been Witzel. It might have been Witzel then. It might have been Witzel. I forgot. Some of the Atletico backline did it, but I. it might have been Witzel. It might have been Witzel. Oh, by the way, guys, Witzel is finished. I'm sorry. Witzel is a... T I, I don't know why Witzel is playing as a center back because this guy is this guy is trash as a center back. I'm sorry. This guy is terrible as a center back. He is a terrible center back. He might be as good as a DM, but he's a terrible center back. He's a terrible center back. Like, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. Second half, man. Atletico Madrid... They did it. They did it. You know, scored an, a nice own goal there. Great, great finish from Hummels. Uh, wrong no, net, though. And and it's 2-2. Two, two, uh, it's 2-1. And you're thinking to yourself, okay, Atletico Madrid's back in this. Atletico Madrid's back this. Um, and you think so, okay, they might be able to do it. And then the second goal, man, great, great finish from Correa. Yeah. He obviously missed a sitter. I think he missed a sitter in the second half. And then he made up for it. Great, great finish there from him to make it to all. And I think there's some, oh my God, has Dorman actually screwed this up? Because when Dorman screwed this up from 2-0 down, I was like, yeah, it's it's over. Atletico Madrid is going to see out the game, play for a 2-2 draw, and that's how the game would finish. And bad, I, I believe I actually predicted a 2-2 draw, guys. I believe I predicted a 2-2 draw. But then, Fulcrook scored a great header. What a wonderful header that was from Fulcrook. That was an incredible header. The 71st minute, and I'm thinking to myself, oh my geez, what a header, what a finish from full crook, man. What a finish. And you're thinking to myself, okay. Um, incredible, incredible, man. The Sabitzer man scored a fantastic goal there. Sabitzer went great, great finish. And that's how the game finished, man. I'd like to Madrid did some chances right at the end. They tried to draw, uh, try to get a goal back, but it wasn't to be. Uh uh, Cobal made some good saves. And yeah, for Atletico Madrid, man, they they, they they just were terrible. They did not deserve to um, advance. And look at how bad they were for majority of the game. 10 shots through on target. And guys, this is kind of what Atletico Madrid did against Inter. Right? I even said this to just stream yesterday. Inter probably should have killed, uh, wrapped, finished off the tie in the first leg. Atletico Madrid probably should have finished off the tie in the first leg too. And guess what? They regret those missed chances. And when you don't take advantage of your missed chances, you're going to get punished. And Dortmund punished Atletico Madrid. So, 
Yeah, man. I think for uh, Dortmund men, shout out to Dortmund men. The first Champions League semifinal since 2013. And guys, Dortmund men, they've been playing against PSG. Can they get can they be at past PSG, man? Time will only tell. But yeah, for Dortmund men, shout out to them, man. They topped the Champions League group and they overcame one of the best teams in your um, one of the best teams in Europe's le uh, leagues. Um, you know, PSV. And then obviously, um, you know, got past Atletico Madrid, that team that had beaten Inter, of course. So yeah, for um Atletico Madrid, man, very disappointing for them, Simeone, man. Um, I think this is a disappointment. And for me, Simeone, man, you messed up, man. Tactically, you messed up. You went too defensive in the first half. And yeah, I can understand why you guys were trying to go for the third goal, but maybe it matched. But the thing is, like, they were too, they they were playing a five at the back, and that's the thing is that they went super defensive. And yeah, man, it, it's it's going to be interesting to see what Dorman does. But yeah, shout out to Dorman, man. Shout out to Dorman, and I think they fully deserve to advance. And for Atletico Madrid, this is bad, man. This is bad for Atletico Madrid, man. This is really bad for Atletico Madrid because now <sighs> this is bad. This is bad. And for Dorman, man, shout out to Dorman, man. And for me, like I said, guys, I'm surprised Dorman did this well. I'm not surprised that they beat Atletico Madrid because I knew it would be close, but I didn't expect Dorman to do this well. I didn't expect Dorman to score four against Atletico Madrid. And guys, Atletico Madrid historically are very good defensively. Nowadays, guys, Atletico Madrid aren't good defensively. Atletico Madrid are not that good defensively anymore. So I want to ask you guys this question. Is Dorman the dark horse? Um, so... Um, but yeah, let me, let me read some of you guys' comments. Let me read some of the messages in chat. Um, where, where was I? Okay. Okay. Uh, Yamal could be a liable defense, but yeah, I agree. Yamal got robbed by Ronald Rao. Yeah, that's kind of true. Araujo kind of ruined it for him. It ruined his spotlight. I can't wait for Borussia Dortmund to play in the semifinals again. Dortmund was yellow. Full credit, big game player. Spain versus Germany equalizer. at Lady Low. I was, I was confident that Simeone would manage to tie well, and he allowed his side to concede too many chances. See, the thing is, Matt's like, I think the old version of Atletico Madrid probably makes it through. But this version of Atletico Madrid, they're too defensively bad. You know, it's weird because Atletico Madrid historically are known for being really good defensively. Nowadays, they're terrible defensively. They're just terrible. And guys, Dorm, Atletico's away form is terrible. It's shocking. Like, I don't think they've won a single away game. And the Champions League, besides the Atletico Madrid game, they couldn't even beat Celtic, guys. They couldn't even beat Celtic in the group stage. Okay, and they lost to Cadiz. they lost to uh, what is it? I think Cadiz, right? Or was it Elche? I think it was Cadiz. Yeah, I think they lost to Cadiz. Actually, they lost Cadiz La Liga two 0 Their away form is shocking, man. Their away form is shocking. Don't remember the PSG. I didn't dream of the semifinal when I was two years old. I've been saying Brand over Havertz for years now. Yeah, you know Brand might be better than Havertz. He's in a little yellow wall, Wardman. Wardman. Uh, Wardman. Brent's very good. Wardman. Wardman. Albert over Simeone. Morata going to do Morata things. Wardman. Sabit Zerman. I don't rate Dorman as highly as you guys do. They kind of benefit from being the easy side of the bracket. But here's the thing, though, Jesus. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, the thing is, like, they were still the underdogs. I think Atletico Madrid were more favored and this side of the bracket. And when you look at the side of the bracket they're on, Dorman is probably the weakest team of the four, at least when you look at their squad. But the fact that they can make the Champions League final ahead of all four would be commendable achievement. So I understand what you're saying, Jesus, that, you know, they kind of did benefit from being the easy side of the draw. But that's just how tournament football is like. You know, that's how tournament football is like. You know, teams just do well in tournaments. And I think Dortmund might be more of a tournament team than a league team, you know. Because, like, league-wise, they haven't been great. League-wise, they haven't been great. But in the Champions League, Dortmund's been great. Uh, full Craig and... As much as I don't like Atletico, I feel for Simeone, I can't lie. Yeah, like, I actually like Simeone as a coach. I think he's actually a really, uh, he's a charismatic coach. Because we don't, because the way he reacts on the sidelines, the way he goes crazy when his team scores, like, we we, we don't see that from most managers. Most managers are just like, eh. Like, most managers don't really have that reaction, you know. He, he's a crazy guy, man. He's a crazy guy. He's insane, man. It's insane. So, um, yeah, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. Um, so. 
the venues where England will beat France in the Euro semifinal. Ooh, Matt. So we'll see, man. We'll see. I'll think up by two likes immunity. It wasn't asked, but quite obviously Chelsea players don't do pass like that. All the English sides I'm out now. Sancherman, two German teams in it. Wait, Sancho lives. Hold the L10 hog. I like when made it 2 2. They left them so it was too exposed. Maybe it was the time to go back to a back four. Yeah, that's the thing is I think Atletico Madrid, they should have went defensive after making it 2 2. Woodso playing for Dortmund too, right? Yeah, he played for Dortmund. Yeah, he yeah, he did. The Krug. Dortmund would not winning UCL would be so random. Not even top three in Bundesliga. He was full credit for this. Lol. H card, the best team doesn't always win UCL. That's when it happens when you take a man out of Man United. Now I feel bad for Casimir. Uh, spirit of club carrying Dortmund. Uh, Matt Jones says, uh, Fudge HH. He gets brought up too much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dortmund winning the UCL. Leverkusen wins the Bundesliga. I don't know how Belly and Amrena and Holland Central didn't do this at far in Dortmund. Good run by Dortmund. They've been disappointed the past few years, but they are doing well this season. Harry Kane. The regional German teams are live in the competition. Harry Kane. Now it's not even low. Imagine uh, Kelsey or whatever it's called wins the German Cup. This is a no law. Probably Sebastian. This is bad. This is very bad. I like Madrid playing at the back. It's obvious how exposed they were. EPL were the were our best thing in the world. Liverpool are 3 0 down. Fumo got in, in accurately again. Uh, uh, they sold Griezmann. Was the guy. They said Griezmann was that guy. Carlo S. Castanacio, Masterclass. Yeah, we'll get to we'll get to Carlo, man. We'll get to Carlo. Got it. How about all thanks to the XX Man United player, Glory, Glory Man United? Yes, Dorman are definitely, definitely, definitely the dark horse. Still no one of Metropolitan I lost for some in the UCL. Barca Atleti out in the city out in the same round. Wow, I forgot to to play for Man United. Life is good. And Bappe, Pele is coming to Pookie. I like Madrid playing three at the back, three, five, two. It was evident they got exposed. They were a particular second half. Let's see. Bruno says, now nah, Dembele is coming. That's some, yeah, Dembele created a joke. You're right. Respect to Dorman for being Atletico. I wasn't expecting them to win the tie. And that right, Pookie. Well, uh, no, I said Dembele from somewhere else. I didn't come with a Dembele. Well, Demaldo. All right. But, yeah, I mean, for Dortmund, man, shout out to them, man. They did it, man. And, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and move on, man, uh, to the next game, man. Hummels, man, got the – you know, it's actually crazy, man. Hummels had a weird game. He got the assist and the own goal. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about Arsenal. Bayern Munich won Arsenal now. Guys, I'll be very honest with you. Very, very honest. This was a tough game to watch. This was, uh, I'm sorry, this wasn't a great game. It really wasn't. And I I was trying my best to watch both games, but it was this game was just, I don't know, man. Like, this game was just so disappointing, and I don't know what to say, man. I mean, like, I don't know, man. Like, it, it, it was weird because I feel like in some ways, it was a kind of a game of two halves where I thought Arsenal were probably the better team in the first half because Byron really didn't do well the, the the first half. You know, they only had that one shot on target. You know, obviously um, Kane had the miss there in the fourth minute. But, yeah, I mean, Byron didn't really create any great goal scoring opportunities the first half. You know, six minute. Um, Masrori had that block there. And Byron, man, I like that Musiala shot was great. That was probably a good shot from Musiala. But, yeah, Byron, um, Arsenal for me. They probably had the better game the first time. Martinelli there with the 31st minute. That was a big save. Havertz there was a big save as well. Um, Rice as well had a good block there. Um, and then obviously, uh, what is it called? Odegaard as well, save in the 29th minute. But yeah, Martinelli the miss, man. But yeah, that first half, man, I, Dor I, 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 Arsenal were better. They created more better goal scoring opportunities. But you know, the thing is, I think in the second half, Byron, Byron, really, uh, Byron really switched up. You know, they started to go, uh, started to be great in the second half. They, you know, started to actually really, really do well. And then obviously, you know, uh, from a from a great, great goal there, great header there from Kimmich. And yeah, for Arsenal, man, they just, um, um, I, I just think that for me, for um, for Arsenal, man, uh, they they just were terrible in the second half, man. They were terrible. And as you can see, oh, I hear the XG shot target. They only had one shot. Two shots in the second half, man. And yeah, for Arsenal, man, they gave it a good go. They gave it a good go. And I think Arsenal, for me, I I, I said this before. I'm going to continue to read this again. I think Arsenal defense is great. I like their defense. I like their midfield. But I'm sorry, that attack is terrible. I don't rate that attack. Havertz, I'm sorry. He's not that good enough. Martinelli is average. And Saka, he's a bit in and off. Sometimes it can be a very good game. Sometimes it can be a very bad game. I don't really uh, – Saka, for me, isn't that great. And you can see with Byron, man, like Byron really struggles. They played Guerrero as a winger. They were, they needed, they, you can see those Byron team really needs Sane. This team really needs a Sane. Sorry, not Sane, Gnabry. Gnabry and Coman. 
Those were two big winger injuries. And yeah, for Bayern, as I said, man, they got the job done. But like I said, I wasn't that impressed with Bayern. I really wasn't. Or like Arsenal for me, I, 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 they were not like Bayern for me. They weren't really that great. But you know, the thing is, Neuer is just such a good goalkeeper. Neuer made, made so many good saves that first half. Those two big saves, because I can guarantee you right now, guys, if Arsenal had scored first, we could have had a very different game. You know, but you know, it is what it is. Bayern got the job done. And for Arsenal, as I said, man, I, 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 um, I think they gave it a good go. Like they gave it a good go. They gave a good game against Bayern at the Allianz Arena, um, and they they gave it a good go. Like, and but you know what's the sad thing is, people are gonna say this on Twitter, and their narrative merchants gonna say this. This is probably one of the worst Bayern teams we've seen in a long time, and this is probably one of the best Arsenal teams we have seen since 2006. So logically speaking, you would expect the best team. You would expect Arsenal to win just because, hey, they're a more in form. But, you know, the Champions League is different. The Champions League is different. And that's what I like about the Champions League is that the Champions League shows that turn, uh, it's tournament football. Anything can happen. Big moments, man. And this is a huge moment for Kimmich. Huge moment for him because there's been, he's been getting a lot of criticism this season that, oh, he can't play as a midfielder. He has to be put at right back. Guys, I think Kimmich is a great midfielder. I just think that for me, he's not a good DM. I think he might be more as a CM if that makes sense. I, I think Kimmich is still a great player. I think he is. And yeah, I think for um for Arsenal, as I said, man, they gave it a good go. They gave it a good go. And for me, the tie was really lost in the first leg. It was really lost in the first leg because it's always difficult to win at the Allianz Arena. It's very difficult. Only few teams can win at the Allianz Arena. I think the last time Bayern lost to Allianz Arena in the Champions League, I think was it against um uh what is it called? Um was against Liverpool. Sorry, no, PSG, PSG, PSG. But yeah, Bayern are generally good at the uh, uh, Allianz Arena. No, sorry, actually, yeah, it was against PSG. Bayern are generally great at the Allianz Arena. And yeah, for Tuchel, man, I still don't really rate Bayern this highly, and I still feel like this Bayern team still needs to overcome. And yeah, for we'll get to Real Madrid in a bit, but for Bayern, man, even with, I, I don't know how I don't know how Bayern's going to feel about Real Madrid, but I will say this though: Bayern have a better chance to beat Real Madrid than Man City. So. Yeah, but we'll, we'll we'll see, man. We'll see what happens. And like I said, for Arsenal, man, their attack is just not good enough, man. Their attack is just not good enough. And yeah, man, shout out to Arsenal. They actually gave a decent fight. I'm, I, I don't think I don't think we can clown Arsenal today. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Arsenal because of how overhyped the team is, but they did decent. Man. I, I don't think Arsenal can be that. I mean, of course they're going to be disappointed, but I don't think you could really be that ashamed with Arsenal. I don't think you should be. Okay, guys, I see we're on 16. People are watching. We have 10 likes, guys. Get the likes up. Get the likes up, guys. Let's try to get up to 15 likes. 15 likes, man. 15 likes. Can we get up to 15 likes? If we can do so, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So, um, and yeah, Gabriel Jesus, man, just it just fallen off, man. I, like Gabriel Jesus was great the first season. I don't know what happened this season. He's not been great. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Okay, so I want to do a poll, guys. I want to ask you guys this question. Did Arsenal do well in this season's Champions League? I I would say, considering this was Arsenal's first season back in the Champions League after a long time, I think a quarterfinal is a good finish. I think a quarterfinal is a good finish. I think a quarterfinal is a good finish. Is a good finish. You know, and because I, like, we have to keep in mind, they were coming into the draw as part two. They hadn't been in the Champions League for a long time. And they probably did about as expected. You know, I think Arsenal did, they, they didn't overachieve. I wouldn't really say they underachieved. I would probably say they did about probably the middle. I'd probably say. So, yeah. I, 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 like, I think for me, for Arsenal, I would generally say, yeah, it was a decent season. Decent season for them. So, yeah, let me read some of your guys' comments. Um, where are we? Where are we? Okay. Um. Yeah. As let me. Oh, come on, man. Come on, Albert. Come on. Don't remember the PSG too. Oh, P Arsenal were disappointing. Yeah, almost. He's still there. Yeah, Arsenal got lucky. It was not more. Arsenal so over. Yeah, I don't think. I. I. I don't think Bayern were really that great. They like. Like they weren't really that great. Yeah, this game like quality. Next year won't be uh, sh sh shocked. I think what you're like, dude. They're not going to Europa next year. 
I would say Law Arsenal. Moussa Dembele over Usman Dembele. Arsenal at one point didn't even get to the final third for 20 minutes, 20 minutes straight. Uh, Tuko, another competition. Bad. UCO. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Tuko is definitely a cup manager, man. He's a cup manager. That's actually true, Matt. Matt Jones says, Bayern Munich were the better team. Arsenal made quarterfinals of UCL. 68 to 80th minute Arsenal, they went to bed. Yeah, you could say Arsenal were a bit bad in the second half, but um, I think they were just getting fatigued. I think they were just getting tired out. They're getting fatigued. And yeah, I mean, like, it is bad at B7, but I don't think it's that bad. You know, it wasn't like they did this for the entire game, but they, they just didn't take their chances, man. Who said that's good for them? And Tuchel somehow wins this. He's a top three manager. Uh, we'll we'll get to, we'll get back to this. In fact, I'm going to start this actually. Um, Albert, Arsenal don't have good attackers. Havertz not a, star, a, a starter. Arsenal just aren't serious about winning in general. Come on, man. Arsenal need a striker, maybe a better winger. Madrid as well. Uh, well, okay, we'll get to that, man. We'll get to. Why do people rate Saka highly? Yeah, like I, I, for me, Saka is a good player. I don't think he's that uh, bad, but I don't think he's that amazing either. Like I think people put their stocks too high on him. Like he's a good player. He's a decent player, but he isn't like world class. You know, and I think people need to stop giving the word world class so easily. World class is a term you have to earn, right? And for me to be world class, you have to perform in the big games, right? And Saka, he's just starting. He's starting. He's going to get better and age. And remember, he did score in the first thing against Bayern. He did score in the first thing against Bayern. So I do think Saka is a good player, but, you know, we have to be patient. We, he's not world class just yet. He might be world class in the future, but he's not world class now, you know? Um. So, yeah, man, there's that. Um, let me see what else you guys say. Um, Martin is not good enough. Should have been subbed out before the goal in the previous games showed why Trossard should have at least 40 minutes. Yeah, I think, Matt, I think Trossard is just used as a super sub. Um. Uh, um. Uh, Saka's just a better Marks Rashford. Eh, come on, man. Saka's better than Rashford. Rashford is, I don't even think it's a good comparison. It was a um uh Fulham and Tottenham legend. Uh, was a Sanchez Arsenal team good? How far did they go? Uh, I don't think they were that great as a collective. Uh, no, I I I I actually you know what? Actually, I want to ask you guys this question. Is this the best Arsenal team we have seen since 2006? I think I would say yes. I think this is the best Arsenal team I've seen since 2006. Would you guys agree with that in the chat? Uh, Poi says, yo, uh, Palmer Saka. Nacho played better than Rudiger, to be honest. Ale Paris. On respect for him, I'd say Palmer. Uh, Nacho always plays well. Many Arsenal fans don't take losses as well. Such so as Troops a clown. Alex is the biggest Arsenal player of all time. He isn't. Well, I mean, in big games. Palmer's on fire. Not in, and not in non UCL. Well, I mean, big games. And not always has this. Now we can clown Arsenal. I think Palmer's a good team player. Not as good as people say, but he's still young. 20 minutes zero. <laughs> Touches a final third. Like the stream and Barcelona won the okay. Only Arso fans were high than low. Sebastian Arso fans expected. Let's not forget that Nacho had been in Madrid. So yeah, Madrid mentality. Well, it's a men finish. Yeah, is this right? They don't right. Barcelona Arsenal fine. They really think they were gonna make the semifinal. Um I mean, some people did. Some people did Pookie. Like I I, I know some YouTubers actually did say Arsenal could make a semifinal. I won't mention their names on the stream just with their integrity, but um some people did say that. Some people did say that. I didn't say that, by the way. So, did Yamal score in the UCL? He could have been beat on his record. No. Wait, did he? Did he score? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Streets won't forget Tuchel. Thank God my hair is safe from right here. Imagine Ansu and Yamal together. Uh, Martin couldn't finish on Brodo. Madrid are the only team who has a creation of a a squad, so the chances of winning are pretty good. Matt's low. Y'all respect I rep Angry Randman. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, Angry Randman. That happened earlier today. Um, So, yeah, commiseration, Matt. Commiserations. Yeah, yeah, Yamal is probably Barca's youngest player to be like, okay. Matters with Barca. World class. Uh, world class players like Georgie and Gallagher, Gusto. How people are saying Odegaard, Rice, Rodri, world class. Dude, Rodri is world class. Come on. Uh, Odegaard, I don't think he's world class. Jorginho, no. Gallagher, no. Gusto, no. Only Rodri's world class, man, for that list. Um, PSG versus Environment UCL final rematch. Yeah, I know. World class of Pulisic, Guller, Jack and Depay. Um, uh no, no, they're not world class. Uh that's crazy, AD. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh Arsenal weren't that far off, to be fair. Uh Michael Tyson said Arsenal gonna win the ECO, by the way. Okay, he did not say that. He did not say that. 
Jose Chase one of them? Uh, I, I, I think you should just watch it to find out, but I won't say here. Byron vs. Rabbit is a European royalty. I know HKR. I know Arsenal beating Byron, but I got that wrong. Uh, let's get to the big game. Doodle, that's what I'm saying. MP7. I think he said they were contenders. PG smoke anyone. Luis Enrique gonna win it. Ale, Ale, Paris, put a Barca, put a Barca. Dude, I've been telling you since I saw the vision, I was two years old. We said Arsenal is gonna win. Okay, so like I said, guys, I think Arsenal did about good. I think Arsenal did decent in the Champions League. You know, considering this was the first Champions League in a long time since 2017, I think Arsenal did decent, you know. And let's be real. It was always going to – I think they did decent, you know. And like I said, guys, heritage is important, guys. Because like I said, guys, Bayern Munich is a team that they might be bad in the league this season. You cannot write upon Bayern Munich because they have Thomas Tuchel as their coach. So now we're going to talk about the final game for today's stream. Uh, that is – Real Madrid, Manchester City won. Real Madrid won. Shout out to Real Madrid. Football heritage. Football heritage prevailed. And as much as I doesn't, as much as I don't want to say this, I have to give credit. Real Madrid showed up on the day. And let's be real. This game wasn't a great game. Like this game wasn't really a great game and on a watching point of view. But it doesn't matter. You know, in tournament football, it's all about winning. It doesn't matter how you win. It doesn't matter whether your wins are ugly. It doesn't matter whether it's pretty. It doesn't matter about that. Win, win, win. And Real Madrid did the did what was very difficult and beat Manchester City on penalties. At the Etihad. And remember, this was at Manchester City Stadium. This was the Etihad, right? And so for Real Madrid, you can never write them off. You just never could. And I have to apologize. I have to apologize as a Barca fan. Like I said that after that first leg, yeah, Real Madrid is going to really struggle second leg. Um, and I had Manchester City to advance. I had picked 3-1. But this just shows that Real Madrid and the Champions League did it. And I thought they had a great defensive game. Defensively, they were fantastic. Rodrigo scored the nice goal there at the 12th minute, Bellingham there with the, um, the, uh, the great uh, link-up play to the goal. Great, great finish from Rodrigo. And, yeah, I think uh, for um, Manchester City, man, you could just see that this team just – the team doesn't ha have the same gel as they had last season. Like defensively, they look very vulnerable at times. And Real Madrid, you could see that the game plan was to be smart. We had to be defensive in this game. And Real Madrid did it. They did it. Like, look at the first half, man. Manchester City had 11 shots, three on target. And shout out to Lunin. I thought Lunin had, was amazing, man. Lunin was incredible on the day. He made eight saves on the day. And shout out to Lunin, man. Lunin was fantastic. And in the second half, man, Manchester City really ramped things up a bit. They really started to take control. You know, KDB scores a fantastic goal there off a Rudiger mistake. And remember, guys, Nacho did an insane clearance. Nacho had a very good clearance. And I thought Rudiger was fantastic. I thought Rudiger was amazing. Extra time, eh, Manchester City were still pushing for the goal because Real Madrid were being defensive and Manchester City were pushing. But, you know, it goes to penalties. And I'm sorry. that Those penalties for Manchester City were disgraceful. Like, why did Pep take off? Uh, KDB. Why did he take off Jack Grealish? Actually, you know what? I actually understand the Jack Grealish one. But why did he take KDB off? Especially in extra time. Knowing that you may potentially go to a penalty shootout. It was just really stupid from Pep. I don't know what he was thinking. And, yeah, I mean, for Pep Guardiola, man, you messed up, man. You messed up with those penalties. Those penalties were awful, by the way. Like, um, and, yeah, shout out to Real Madrid, man. They prevailed on penalties. Uh, they're moving on to the Champions League semifinal, and they'll be playing against Bayern Munich. And guys, I'll be really honest with you. We might, we might, Real Madrid, I, I'm worried for Bayern. I'm worried for Bayern, man. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, like I said, guys, there's, this game we really didn't have a lot of great chances, if you think about it. Like, this game was, um, um, uh, th this game was, um, you know, it wasn't a really great game, but you have to give credit to Real Madrid. They came in here with a defensive game plan. Um, and um, Nacho was, uh, uh, and you have to give credit to Real Madrid. They they did it, man. And uh, credit to uh, Carlo Ancelotti, man, because he actually stuck by and Nacho Fernandez, maybe he had a good game. I thought Camavinga was fantastic. I thought Carvalho was great. I thought Cruz was good, Rodrigo, Vinicius. But the issue I have with Real Madrid, the issue with Real Madrid I have is just that this team isn't clinical enough. Because, guys, let's be real. Real Madrid probably should have won the first leg at the, at the, 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 the Bernabeu. They probably should have. But, you know, they didn't. Man City got back in the game. 
And Real Madrid, just, just they're just not clinical enough in the final third. And that's what my biggest issue is for Real Madrid, is that if you're a Real Madrid fan, it's going to be difficult. Like, it's going to be difficult. For Manchester City, as I said, man, the wingers were terrible. Like, and I think, um, and the wingers were just terrible, man. They, they, they just didn't show up, man. And for Real Madrid, as I said, man, Manchester City, they kept pushing. They kept every chance they created was from, like, all the chances they really created, I believe, was throughout wide. They didn't really create any in the middle chances, I believe, in the center of the chances, you know. And, yeah, for Real Madrid, as I said, for Manchester City, man, disappointment for them. They will not be able to win the treble. And now let's see if um let's see if they win the Premier League. Because if Manchester City uh, don't win the Premier League, it's gonna be bad, man. It's gonna be bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean Doku was great. Uh, yeah, Doku was good actually. MP7, MP7, you're right. But Foden wasn't good, Grealish wasn't great. Yeah, the like the only the only players that could say is, is uh, the only players that could go with their heads held high was probably Doku, Rodri. I thought Walker wasn't really great. That that first goal, Walker was terrible. Walker should have done better there for the first goal. Gets beaten like that. Um. And yeah, man. So, like I said, man, it, it's 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 interesting. It's interesting. So, yeah. Let me read some of you guys' comments, uh, live messages in the chat. Um. Uh, Um, let me see, I'm sure. Um, BBB have the chance. Um, um, go to the movie. The movie had Real Madrid versus Arsenal UCL final. Heck, nah, I didn't. Ha ha, lol. BBB have a chance to do the funniest thing would be PSG. That'll be that'll be interesting, uh, doodle. Sure, PSG gonna smash Real Madrid. Arsenal lost because they sold Florian Balogun and Marcel Flores. Uh, no, they didn't, Albert. Well, that's not the reason why they lost this game. Gano drew to win it all. Luna, best goalkeeper in the world. Creds are to doing well. The average team, no killing above this game, bro. I brought tactics. Man City lost themselves. I I agree, man. Nacho almost scored an own goal. Yeah, Nacho almost scored an own goal. I think was it was that in the second half? I actually don't really remember, but I think it was the second half. Yeah. Um, uh, Real Madrid is a serious use of Canada, but I think Byron could have said that. We'll see. How did KDB not score that chance? Oh yeah, that KDB chance. He had a chance right there in the 85th minute to seal it, and he missed. He missed, man. And for Manchester City, man, they're probably still angry that we scored three away goals and we still couldn't advance. And away, if had away goals stood, oh, they would have advanced. They would have advanced. Madrid goes to finals just to get smoked by Borcola and Bobby Dembele. Uh, we'll see about that. Puki says, Pew. I don't care about uh, pretty football anymore. It's all about systems. <laughs> Sebastian says, KDB is the most overrated player of all time, bum player. Yeah, he isn't. He, come on. He's not the most overrated player of all time. And he's not a bum. Yeah, come on. He's not a bum. He shows up against Real Madrid, man. He shows up against Real Madrid. Man say he has space to take in shots in a few situations, but didn't reactionary. I can't lie. Andrew goes great today. No, he is. Farmers. Um, Katie Mr. Craig, baby. Hopefully we retire soon. I can't stand the clown. Should Holland be sold? Uh yeah, I think that's a bit reactionary, but uh, Holland uh, Holland is not gonna big games. And I, I I've said this right now, guys. Holland is not a good big game player. He isn't. He is not a good big game player. He isn't. So um. Yeah. Uh, Puki said line Nacho was the second best Real Madrid player for Real Madrid men. So he has seventy corners. Nacho for a short man he had came close to those corners. You're a big Nacho hater. We know Nacho is. Barcelona fans are not okay. Um, I didn't. When did I say anything about Dortmund? Was KDB tired? Vinny, um, Vinny Jr. was also subbed off. Yeah, yeah. Vinny Jr. I think he might have been tired. That's probably the reason why. The best ever player to touch this club. Meanwhile, the other defenders, especially Carvalho, Rudiger, both ended up giving away the goals. At least Luna was good. Nacho, because he needed to step. I miss the pens because my stream cr ch 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 choked. I doesn't have the courage not to start Howland and put Alvarez. He probably thinks Alvarez is too short star. 80 Nacho C80 80, 80 said it. He was a clearance. Nacho was the best. And you were a very wrong cookie. Also, Nacho scored his man. Like, ha ha. I was anyone scored on goal. No man. KDB was a blank. Holland's a bump. Send him to look through any Come on. Uh, that's a bit of reactionary. Lomare said, I did not think Real Madrid was going to go through this year. Real Madrid had terrible pen stats. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. And you know, I think. Because the thing is, Manchester City were just that bad on penalties. But you know the thing is, guys, if if Manchester City had not subbed out their the penalty takers, would they have won this game? I don't know. I don't know. But I I I was just not really sure if I would favor Manchester City on penalties. 
because Ederson is not a really good penalty shot. I remember earlier this season, I think Manchester City lost to um, Arsenal was in the Super Cup. No, not Super Cup, the Community Shield. The Community Shield. So why are you tripping? Ronaldo Pen. Yeah, the Bernardo Pen was terrible, man. KDB is very bad at penalties. Uh, is he that bad? I, I don't think he's that bad, but maybe you're right. Well, he isn't. I, I would still say he should have been in the top five. He should have um, um, the pen takers. He should have still been one of the pen takers. I know he played very good. Luna's is a goat. He deserves a bound over this performance alone. Of course, the 18-19 match is to be better than this team. Yeah. Luna over Courtois. Not your top 10. Do you do or do or jacket? Pups of fraud. Lep, 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 lep. The silver pen. How back to draw my opinion that he puts Bundesliga. again. Lep. Luna was amazing. Not your cheese. Weavers were terrible except for Doko when he created that goal. Yeah, yeah. He was good, man. He was good. Drummer does start characters with the Kane or Bell and Immobile. And Vinny was terrible as well. And I used to think Rodrigo should have stayed on. Yeah, Rodrigo was good, man. Rodrigo was good. But, you know, the thing is, like, yeah, Vinicius wasn't really that great. He wasn't really that great. But, you know, as I said, with, with Manchester City, man, they're just not clinical. Uh, Real Madrid, they're just not clinical in front of goal. Mastery of bottle, uh, penalty advantage. Croatian to get penalties. Master, stop PSG. Well, that means the destiny. Real again. How hard does it win back to back UCLs? Even if, if even City couldn't do it. You know, that also is a good point, Jesus. It shows how difficult it is to win back to back Champions League and how rare it is to see it happen. You know, and that's what I like about the Champions League is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter um, how good your team is. Doing back to back is very hard. SSB 20 said, Yo, what's up? Doesn't mean Man City's last uh, season was a fluke. Pepper really blew it. Sure, said, Joker doesn't link up. Stop showboarding. No, no, he was he he created the goal, man. He created the goal, man. He created the goal. Um, it's an informer to see. See, they were gonna lose to PSG anyways. Good job, 80. Me and you saw the same game. Pep three. Um uh, uh Pep's three best players didn't even take pants. KDB, Holland, Rodri. That's another point. Rodri didn't even take a penalty. Uh Joker show but it's too much by not a good way on Dino way. Why didn't Man City um uh finish? Especially, I'm gonna show semifinals as well. Yeah, maybe we'll discuss about semifinals briefly, but I, I don't want, I want to make it very brief though, very, very brief, uh, because we do need to wrap this up. We're already reached, we already reached our mark. So, uh, it's like Man City wanted to intentionally not score and make it stressful. Oh come on, they, the, the, nah, they, that, that, that's blasphemous. Come on, they, they wanted jumpers. I like to agree, but I don't think it will happen. Now, got Real Madrid gets the final. It's wrapped up for them. Uh, Bell and Emmett silence Holland. I hope Holland doesn't join Madrid in the future. The final stuff to beat Patrick Me and Sebastian on green. KDB chance is nowhere near to the Jesuit's chance. Rogo should have scored in like the 170th minute. Uh, I think not sure. Got was just one on one, only didn't say go to the shops on right. Just as a PG is gonna win. Um, I was thinking about it. The Balbert deserves no idea. I mean, the other Barcelona fans are next. I'll accept that PSG will win it on Sebastian's PlayStation. As <laughs> the UCL as Holland. Uh, I, KDB now joins Messi and he's on the list of players who send fears in my heart when they get on the ball. Who next is uh, Victor uh, Victor Ferreira Vitinha. Where I had me shot. Now, Ber Bernardo was one of the best pen teams. In Community Shield, so we got Bernardo took both pens and scored both. I see. Yeah, that is. Oh, yeah, Man City did read uh, Sevilla on penalties. I remember that. City always robbed by uh, City always robbed by uh, away goals policy, either if he was for the Monaco and Tottenham games, but now couldn't have on their side. It always goes against him. We'll see some action. Even though both are friendly uh, trophies, you could still see Bernardo's good at penalties. So it was the right choice, but he, he did bad when it mattered. No, but I think I think the thing is like Kovacic should have taken that penalty. I don't know why Kovacic took a penalty. That didn't make any sense to me. Um, respect for Guardiola. Ale, ale, Paris Saint Germain. Yeah, respect him. Uh, we beat our dogs now. It's dormant, and now Man City, Madrid, bomb here in the final. Rodrigo owns Man City. Yeah, Rodrigo actually has a good record against Man City. Facts. KDB also does good against Man City. I mean Real Madrid. It's actually easy to go back to back. Just ask for knowledge when you're back to back troubles. Um, that boy might be a fraud too close, so it's clear. I was really good. Next Chelsea player did it. Now single X Chelsea player would just play a penalty shootout. Ederson Penn. Uh Paul and God pocketed by the go to go. Oh, you know, Ederson scored the penalty. I was going weird. Uh it might was UCLD. Rodri had some bad penalty misses too, like against Monaco. Ederson's the best penalty taker in Man City, in my opinion. Ortega was like goalkeeper in community shield. Is Alvarez good enough to start? Yeah, he should start. Okay. <laughs> when it comes to analyze the PSG, Sebastian's like exactly like Alexi Lawless. Ederson's best penalty taken at UCL, but worst penalty saver at UCL. <laughs> you know, that's actually crazy, FB7. How do you score a penalty, but you can't save a penalty? Like, what? Actually, to be fair, he did save the, he did save the Modric penalty, but like, he, he, he should have saved more penalties, man. Lol. He's going to probably supposedly go on the World Cup, but he's a goalkeeper. 
Okay, so let's quickly look at the semifinals real quickly. Um, maybe we'll give like around 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm going to head off um, afterwards. Um, so, Holland wasn't that bad in this game, to be honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Holland was that bad. I mean, he wasn't that great, but he wasn't that bad. He wasn't that bad. Okay, I uh, I was lucky too. Modric penalty this week. Um, so, oh yeah, let me look at Steve's comment. He did say something. I knew City can't go back to back, but didn't expect Real Madrid to win a with a backup goal because his remains injured. Both Croatians have been saved. Last team that went back to back. Yeah. To us, I did not see Bellingham second half. Yeah, Bellingham didn't really do good in the second half. He was important for the goal, but he didn't really do much after the goal. You know, but like I said, Real Madrid were going super defensive. Uh, Real Madrid, pen well, Real Madrid were going super defensive. But a penalty was uh, was unlucky. Marta carried. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and look at the. Um, let me do a poll, guys. Let me do a poll. Um, which semifinal are you more excited for? So let's just look at it very briefly, guys, because I do need to head off soon. Um, because it's been an hour. So, um, we got here so Dorman PSG and then Bayern Real Madrid. Um, personally for me, uh personally for me, guys, I'm more excited for the um uh, I'm more excited for Dorman PSG just because I feel like I feel like that one is a bit more closer than I feel like that one is a bit more closer. Than the Bayern Real Madrid, but at the same time, though, I don't know. It's tough because let me actually show you guys. Well, let me just show you guys. So Dortmund have the first leg at home, the second leg away, and then for the uh, Bayern Real Madrid, Bayern Munich. Oh my God, Real Madrid have the second leg. Real Madrid have the second leg at home. Yeah, yeah, they have the second leg home. I, I think it's gonna be difficult. I think it's gonna be difficult. Um, so yeah, Byron, Byron have to win the first leg. Byron have to for sure win the first leg. So basically both the Bundesliga teams have the first leg at home. Yeah, I, I think it's tough. I think it's going to be tough, man. So, um, I knew from the start of the season, City was not going to win. Real Madrid pens do not compare to Tajik's penalties for Um, uh, uh, Porto got knocked out by Arsenal. Hold that mass for a small club. Has nothing to do with anything. Real Madrid, Bayern. Armay owns them. Uh, I mean, this is the first time I'll see Madrid versus Bayern. You do below. Uh, ever since I was two years old, I've been dreaming of smashing players Bayern versus Real. PSG played a lot better in the group stage match against Dortmund, by the way. Um. My thing is that I feel like I feel like for me the reason why I think the dormant PSG game is um uh closer is because we know how PSG is like in the Champions League. We we just know they have the tendency. And Dorman is we we've seen how good Dorman been. But you know, the thing is what I'm what, what I'm really interested to see is that how will Dorman go react to the second leg being away? Because to be fair, Dorman haven't played a away game of the second leg at all in the Champions League. So but then again, they have won games. They won in Milan. They won at St. James Park. So maybe there is a chance that Dorman could do something. But we'll we'll see, man. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, um, okay, guys, let's just let's just stop calling Sebastian Alexi Lawless. He's gonna get mad in the chat. So just 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 let's just let's just uh let, let's just uh stop, guys. Let's stop, please, please stop, guys, please stop, please stop, guys, please stop. But yeah, I mean, it's gonna be interesting, guys. It's gonna be interesting. So let me see what you guys say in the chat. So more of you guys were saying Dorman PSG, okay? Four votes for Bayern Real Madrid. Okay, okay. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, guys. Like, like, like the Champions League semifinals is gonna be very interesting. And uh, the dates are already confirmed, right? So April thirtieth. So in two weeks' time, we're gonna know. Which teams are going to make the Champions League final? <laughs> so, 
Yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting, guys. It's gonna be interesting. And guys, looking at all four of the Champions League teams, we're gonna get in. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get a team that PSG is the only team that haven't won the Champions League before. PSG is the only team that haven't won the Champions League before. Every other team has. Obviously, Dortmund won once in 1997, I think. Obviously, Real Madrid won 14 times, and Bayern won six times. It's gonna be interesting, guys. It's gonna be interesting for that for those uh, Champions League games, man. And um, I'm worried, man. I'm worried as a Barca fan, man, because my worst nightmare might actually take place. But um, we'll 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 see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. But yeah, anyways, I think we're gonna round off here, guys. Um, I'm gonna actually, you know what? Let's do one final poll, guys. Let's do one final poll, and this is gonna be the last poll for today. Final poll for today. Which UCL quarter ball did you enjoy? The best. So let's say Barca PSG. I should have probably done this earlier. Ad, uh, Dortmund versus Atletico. Um, Bayern Arsenal. And Man City. I mean, for me, of the four, I think I think Adle Dorman versus Atletico was the best. In my personal opinion, I think it was the best. So, yeah, I'm going to say that one. All right. Are my owns them? PSG Madrid found book the tickets. PSG played a lot better in the group stage. Yeah, good then against Dortmund. Okay. Um. Let's hope the final is a PSG Bayern low. Mm. You know what? I, I actually didn't really. I actually thought the PSG Bayern final was good. Um, of the ones I've seen in the recent years, but yeah. And Bubba goes Charlotte FC. I think Dortmund won the UC in the dinosaur or something. That's a good one. PSG Madrid or Dortmund Bayern. Voted for Madrid versus City low. I can't wait for Alan Messer to deba debut in the Champions League next season. I only watch PSG versus Barcelona, Real versus City. Uh, you could go any. Uh, let's hope the final is in PSG Bayern. Who do you mean in Bobby Care Neymar? Of course, Barca PSG. Though Neymar made this year final with PSG. Yeah, he did. He did. It must be true, Matt. Every human is a Conor Gallagher. Then Conor Gallagher will carry one of those four to UCL trophy. You know what I just realized, guys? All the semifinalists. Oh, I just realized. Never mind. Real Madrid is the only semifinalist that was there in the last season's Champions League. So, yeah. But anyways, I think we're going to round off here, guys. I think we're going to round off here. So, I hope you guys can join for tomorrow's stream, man. Tomorrow, we're going to be discussing about Europa League and Conference League games, semifinals. I'm sorry, quarterfinal reaction. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, man. We'll go from there, man. It's going to be very interesting. So, of course, my semifinal predictions. That video is going to be dropping. When is that going to drop? Dang, it's literally the week after next week. So, I'll, I'll get those predictions out for you guys next week. I'll get those predictions out for you guys next week, man. I'll get those predictions out for you guys next week. So, yeah, we had a very interesting Champions League quarterfinals. Like, like I think this is the best Champions League quarterfinals I've seen in a long time. Like, it's probably been the best I've seen. I'm really hoping we don't get that team to win it. But, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see what happens then. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. So, let me go ahead and read some of you guys' final comments, and then we're going to head out. Um, about we go to Charlotte FC. Um, okay, Charlotte FC, lol. Uh, because Messi need more frauds. Messi got PSG worse. Barca do play in semifinals. Conor Gallagher would carry in these four to the UCL trophy. Don't think so. Um, um, it must be true, Mats. Though Neymar made UCL final with PSG, of course, Barca PSG. But you mean Mbappe carried Neymar? Let's hope that the finals of P okay, I already read that. Um, Whatever Mitchell says, uh, yeah, Sebastian says, I'm going to go to sleep. See you next time. We'll be enjoying the rest of your day. Yeah, see you, man. See you, Sebastian. We'll definitely uh, discuss more about this in the member stream, man. Member stream, we'll discuss more about this. Sam vote from Madrid versus City. Honestly, we're good in the Champions League, but I'll need to destroy everyone. Just like how they destroy Alki Lot today. I think this will be RMA's first time winning at UC on London. Football heritage. And Jesus says, well said, Buki. Well said. All right, yeah. Peace, guys. Peace, 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 guys. I'll see you guys next time, man. Remember, guys, like and subscribe. And yeah, man. So how many likes were we on this today's stream? Let's see if we get let's see if we reach today's like target, which was 15. So um uh, 
we reached 12 likes. Okay, 12 is decent. Um, and yeah, I think 12 is a good n number. So I'll be putting timestamps for you guys in the description uh, for those I want to watch on the replay. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Europa League and Conference Extreme. So yeah, peace, man. Peace, peace, peace.